Hello, and in this episode of the sort of episode of various chemical threats and how do you protect yourself from them, we're going to look at something that's not actually a chemical weapon, but it can be militarized into a chemical weapon. In this video, we're going to look at pesticides. Now, there are a lot of different types of pesticides, some far nastier than others, but most pesticides that are used are known to be carcinogenic, as in they cause cancer over long-term exposure to them, or in high enough doses, or they can cause tumours and things like that. Now, pesticides are quite worrying because you can actually weaponize them into nerve agents. Nerve agents, which I'll cover in later videos, I'll probably do one episode on the German G agents from World War II and a later on the VX uh, type nerve agents. They're essentially extra strong pesticides that kill very, very efficiently. Um, but regular watered down pesticides of a similar type are used on food all around the world. Um, the idea is to kill insects that try and eat them. Now, obviously there's something quite worrying about spraying food that people are going to eat with a poison because the poison kills insects. So, um, obviously, as I've said before in these videos, I am not a bio biologist or a chemist. I can't say, yo, you could make a much better pesticide than the ones they use, which would be safer. But if we simply look at the facts, we know that, obviously, yeah, you would need pesticides in some region to, you know, have higher crop output, stop, uh, you know, insects eating the crops. But history has shown that um, pesticides are generally a very bad thing. Nature works well when you don't mess with it. When you start killing off the insects using a poison, it can then affect the greater food chain. You could then affect, you know, birds that eat the insects, start poisoning them, disrupt the entire food chain, kill off lots of species of animals by doing that, completely destroying the ecosystem in a country. It generally doesn't work well when you try and play God with these things and change it. Now, the other issue as well, and this is the big issue, is that pesticide is known to be incredibly poisonous, especially over long term. The soil it's in, you know, the regions where a lot of stuck crops are grown and sprayed with pesticides. And if you eat the pesticide, you know, coated food regularly, especially if you don't wash it very well, you're letting the stuff build up into your system. Now, it could make you short term ill or long term ill. Again, as I said, I'm not a biologist or a chemist. I'm not an expert on what all these things will do over certain things. I know there's lots of claims about some will not be true, some will be true. But it's generally known that lots of pesticides are carcinogenic over a long period of time. Now, something very interesting is if you look at a lot of the wine-growing regions of France, um, I imagine it's the same in Italy as well, but in these regions, the cancer rate uh, where pesticides are used heavily are far higher than the surrounding area, including child cancers, you know, and adult cancers, which is a really nasty, worrying thing. And as I said, this is like one of those things where, as far as everybody knows, it comes down to the pesticides. Now, you might be wondering why have I got an NBC suit on? Um, well, simply because when pesticides are sprayed on a field, have a look at pictures or videos of the people spraying the pesticide. They are dressed up like this. The people spraying the pesticides are dressed up like chemical warfare troopers, which should tell you all you need to know about how safe this stuff actually is. Now, when pesticide goes wrong, it can go really wrong. Um, if you look at the Bhopal disaster that happened in India, I believe in the 80s, um, a massive American pesticide plant in India, basically they didn't have very good safety regulations, the staff weren't trained properly, but Lots and lots of their pesticide went airborne. When that pesticide went airborne, it killed thousands of people and has led to birth defects, you know, for decades afterwards. The shadow of Bhopal is still there. Um, you know, it's totally ruined that region. Everything was poisoned and, you know, it was really nasty stuff. It was like a proper, proper chemical warfare strike on the uh, shanty town. Sort of the slums when uh, the actual uh, Union Carbide factory released all of the um, cyanide type based um, pesticide into the air. So, as I was saying, pesticide has been militarized. Um, pesticide, for example, um, was two major developments for pesticide were in the Second World War or prior to the Second World War. Nazi Germany figured out with the company called IG Farben that um, Pesticide, which ended up being really strong and effective, was good at killing people. These were developed into the German nerve agents, known as the G agents. Tabern was the first one. Again, I'll go into this in more detail in another video. So, the most dangerous chemical weapons known to man are made from pesticides. So, that's, you know, one of the things. 
Another famous uh, pesticide that they figured out was very good at killing people was called Cyclone B, uh, Cyclone B in English, used by the Nazis during the Holocaust to kill the Jews, you know, the Gypsies, all the other people the Nazis deemed to be undesirables, untermensch, um, you know. So, one of the worst genocides in human history carried out with a pesticide, for the most part, at least in the gas chambers, not through starvations and shootings and whatever else, but the actual gas chambers used a pesticide. So, this should start giving you an idea of just how nasty pesticides are. Now, as again, I'm not saying, oh, we should st totally not use pesticides at all. I'm sure that would have a lot of problems with people then starving because there's not enough food products, but there certainly needs to be a not, lot more regulation done with pesticides over what's safe. So how can you protect yourself from pesticides? Well, firstly, I'd say not live in a region where pesticides are used, uh, you know, a lot for spraying on fields. Otherwise, you will have to be dressed up like me uh, to simply be alive in those regions. Because if you're not dressed up like this, over a long enough period of time, you will get a cancer or some other horrible illness or your immune system will suffer. All these other horrible things because these pesticides simply aren't safe for human use. And, um, you have to wash your food pretty thoroughly as well, um, you know. Uh, an interesting thing is actually if you have a small pet animal and you feed them food that's got lots of pesticide on uh, because you haven't washed it properly, that can kill them. So if you've got a small pet that's killed by, you know, too much pesticide on a product, it's a bit worrying what that would, you know, do to a person if you just scaled it up or the amount eaten up. So, as I said, the pesticide is really nasty stuff. Your only real thing is, you know, wash your food thoroughly, try and buy maybe foods that are grown without using pesticide, and don't live in a region where pesticide is sprayed regularly on fields around you. Or you will start, you know, having some of those effects onto you. Uh, you know, some of those are very, very nasty effects. So, hopefully this video has um, enlightened you a bit about pesticide. Yeah, it's really nasty stuff, as said developed into chemical weapons from being a pesticide, but the regular stuff's nasty enough that it can kill you if it gets released in Bhopal. Um, Long-term build-up of it in the soil and on farms, if you live near them, can lead to cancers, and it can lead to, you know, lots of stomach problems and poisoning. An interesting thing as well, if you're around pesticide too much, or you eat foods that are coated in pesticide too much, it destroys the good bacteria in your stomach. I actually learned that from speaking to somebody who works in the pesticide research industry. You know, the type of people that are employed to make pesticides, but they actually really don't like the stuff themselves, which, again, says a lot about the types of chemicals used. So, um, yeah, regarding pesticides, um, my advice is stay well clear of them if you can. Um, otherwise, you're going to need to be decked up like me.